Okay, we've been loving Vegas so much that we decided to rent a vehicle and drive outside of Vegas. We're going to the Valley of Fire, which seems more up my alley being out in nature. It looks like a really cool place to go. And uh, yeah, we're just picking up some donuts right now. And then we're gonna drive out there and go on a little hike to burn all those calories off. <clears throat> it, it appears that I ate all the donuts. The Valley of Fire is aptly named because when you post pictures of it on Instagram, people use the fire emoji. This 46,000 acre park was actually named after its red sandstone formations, which were formed some 150 million years ago from shifting sand dunes, according to some sign anyways. And now we will figure out where to look. It's a really cool national park. And this is our first stop and we're a little bit overwhelmed to be honest, right? It's amazing. You just look around. <laughs> Met some lucky gals from Helen, Georgia. Yeah. I was actually just talking to my friend about hiking the Appalachian Trail and stopping in Helen, Georgia. And when I drank, I went to the Helen Cellar. They got some good beers if you're into that scene. So, uh, and then there's the Southern Hospitality. Of course, 100%. Everyone's so nice there. It's amazing. <laughs> I had to get it. <laughs> Scary. This is intense. Okay, so we got this little hole thing here. I'm wondering if you can go down it. I'm like that 127 hours guy. I should. Well, if I keep eating those donuts, it might be a foot. <laughs> Hello. It's, it's amazing. Like this part here alone is worth the trip here. Yeah. Hookers are fun, but this is... Look at all these holes. All right, we're all hopped up on donuts and uh, we're here at Mouse's Tank, I believe it is. There's supposed to be a spot over here that uh, you can take some cool pictures, some Instagram bangers as the wieners say, but uh, we'll go over there and uh, check it out. So we pretty much climbed to the highest peak here. It's like K2, but a little bit higher and redder. And uh, we're practically willy goats. As you can see Jody there, really showing off her technique. <laughs> This part reminds me of me in the summer with shorts on. Red on the bottom and pasty white up top.
what is it called? Fire Wave? Fire Wave. It's uh, really sweet because the rocks actually look like fire and waves of fire. And that, I think that's where it gets its name, which is pretty sweet. It, like the rocks over there, it kind of looks like soft serve ice cream and the way it mixes in and stuff. And now uh, I'm kind of hungry. As far as national parks go, this has been my first one, and it was absolutely amazing. We weren't sure what it was going to be like, because you never know, but uh, I, I think we both liked it. Jody's over there for some reason. Uh, what did you think? See, it was great. Uh, it actually was amazing. There was so much to see. We could have spent way more time here than we thought. And uh, just like what I said before, this was kind of more our style, getting out into nature. The Las Vegas thing is, it's okay, but this is, uh, this is definitely where, where it's at. This is really cool. We saw some stuff and stuff happened. <laughs> it was pretty good. As night began to fall, so too did daylight begin to fade. Well, then I reckon the desert isn't a safe place for a man at night, and not because a coyote can come and rip your jugular right out of your throat, but because it's super cold, and this man didn't bring his blankie to snuggle in. 